And I do a lot of yoga. Okay. Yoga's yoga's, yoga's really good. good. Weights? Yes. I don't like lifting weights. You don't lift weights. I don't like I like I like manipulating my own body weight, but I don't want to stand there and okay. do curls. Ha pull ups, push ups, push crunches. Up. What's up guys, Derek from PlaySportDates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Stephen Amell's body transformation for Arrow and what I think he did in particular to prepare to peak for that role. When references to Stephen's uh, body composition are made, they're usually in reference to him peaked for his role in Arrow, like in this picture here, or in this promotional photo here, or in some of these select shots in the show where you can see a bit of an outline of his abs and you know a bit of mass on his frame simultaneously. Is this enhanced though? Is this something you need to be on gear to look like? He has an impressive physique, no doubt. And he does have a pretty strict training regimen to maintain this and peak for the role. And there are some instances in the show where he kind of fluctuates up and down. He gets a bit softer at times. Um, at other times, he's a lot sharper. Like earlier in his career too, he definitely was a bit more on point in terms of body fat accrual. But there's no taking away from the fact that the guy works hard and he's always at least in good shape objectively for his role throughout the duration of his career. Going back to his start though, was he always in as good of a shape? Did he transform significantly to prepare for Arrow? Does he regress significantly between seasons? and then blast to peak back for Arrow, that's something I feel like that can be elucidated just by looking at, first of all, him between seasons as well as in his past. So there are some images you can find of him with a very average looking physique in between seasons, but is that just the result of him not training for that time frame, or is it the result of coming off of gear and then hopping back on cycle? There are definitely a handful of images you can find where he actually looks, you know, relatively untrained. However, you have to consider the fact that these are unflattering lighting circumstances. They're not, you know, professionally edited photos. They're not highlighting any kind of cuts. They're not, and nothing is being doctored. These are paparazzi photos as opposed to promotional images used where he's you know, peaked almost single digit body fat and he uh, has the most optimal lighting circumstances in the world, like prepared for him. And he's actually trying to be in shape. So moving forward to what he looked like at the start of his career, I feel like we get more insight into what he's actually capable of achieving. A lot of people might say, well, he's, you know, could be on gear this entire time for the past 15 years. But the reality is, is he didn't know he was going to have a part in Arrow in his early 20s. And self-admittedly, he says he's never been big into weight training. He's more into athletic movements and things that test his strength in, you know, body weight exercises and things that can progress his athleticism as opposed to something that is just brute force strength like a bench press. I don't do weights that often. I really enjoy running. I really enjoy doing body resistant stuff. So I do a lot of uh, chin-ups, weird different types of pull-ups, abdominal work, push-ups, handstand push-ups, tricep push-ups, balancing exercises, planking, or when I can manipulate my own body weight. That really is the true test of, of strength. I'm much more impressed if someone can do 30 pull-ups than bench 300 pounds. And if you go back to way, way at the start of his career in obscure roles like in Dante's Cove, you can see at 24 years old, he's not out of shape. The guy is, you know, 14, 15% body fat maybe, and he has some size on him. And then moving forward to 2007 at 26 years old in Regenesis, he looks insane. The guy is already looking exactly like he did as his most peaked physique in era. Like, I would argue he looks as good, if not better in this role than he did for the majority of Arrow, or at least, you know, within striking distance of it. So this is the baseline he's really working with. And he's only been even in this industry for a very short period of time at this point. And he certainly is not in a position where he is supposed to be peaking for what would be a action star, essentially, in the limelight and as a celebrity and whatnot. He's just, you know, a 26 year old kid here with very good genetics and moving Moving forward to 2007, later in the year, in closing the ring, you can see how lean and muscular this guy actually is in his early 20s. He's not, or his mid 20s, I should say. He's basically showing the same body composition. He looks younger a bit, but it's probably just the shaved face. Realistically, the body composition itself is pretty much the same from what I can see. And moving forward, he did fluctuate here and there. Like in 2011, he might have lost a little bit of not not size. I don't think maybe just a bit of leanness. 
and this is obviously going to fluctuate here and there in regards to diet and training and whatnot but you know even going to 2012 in at 31 years old he's a visible six pack and pretty much looks exactly the same as he did in his mid 20s and as well peaked in arrow he might have a little bit more size in arrow and going to 2012 in the first season you can see here he's maybe holding you know five pounds more muscle than he was in 26 years old in regenesis but is he you know substantially different than he was in his mid-20s no i think he's largely the same and i think this is largely indicative of natural progression a lot of people they see the physique and they see some of these you know promotional images where he looks insane like you have to give the guy credit even if he was enhanced you know achieving a physique like this isn't easy it's not something you can just you know pin some fucking shit in your ass and then like show up and look like this you got to put in the work in the gym you got to put in the work in the kitchen especially you have to have the willpower to adhere to that calorie deficit to maintain that lean physique peaking for a role it's not easy to do that regardless if you're on gear or not so personally i think the guy puts in work if you're a fan of him you've probably seen a lot of the footage he's put out of him training in the gym doing a lot of body weight athletic movements some of the free running he's done some of the crazy maneuvers and stunts he's done the guy trains hard and he has a pretty unique style of training that makes it even more impressive in my opinion that he can maintain this body composition because he's already admitted many times he's not a fan of progressive overload or you know standard compound movement exercises he's more of an athletic body weight movement type of guy i guess where he is trying to basically maintain a physique conducive to the goals of an athlete rather than somebody who's purely pursuing cosmetic enhancement kind of thing so to me Looking through him at in Arrow throughout the years, you know, this is the role everyone looks at. This is the one everyone references as, oh, there's no way you could achieve this naturally. But if you really look at, you know, the start of his career to now, the body composition hasn't really changed significantly. And personally, I think he's just very genetically gifted. It almost reminds me of Captain America, Chris Evans, if you've seen that video I've done on him. The progression is very similar. They had great baselines. They had very good genetics. They were lean with a bit of size. They have good inserts, so it looks bigger even at a lower body weight. And their physiques don't really progress significantly. And when they do try and bulk up, they gain a proportional amount of fat relative to muscle it's not like an unnatural you know blowing up 20 pounds of lean tissue like a chris hemsworth it's consistent parallel increases in fat as well as size and then parallel decreases in the two when they cut down it seems like so to me Stephen amell i think is natural let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you think he's enhanced if so where do you think was a red flag for you that set it off in his career what do you think he took in particular if he did take anything any and all comments are welcomed as they help the algorithm a lot and help push the video to a new audience that may otherwise not see it if you want to support the channel as well besides liking and subscribing obviously you can follow me on instagram as well as my other social media platforms as well as you can check out gorillamode.com link in the description below contains my turnkey pre-workout formulas i highly recommend you just take out your current pre compare the label to mine you'll see quickly why ours is gaining steam in this industry is going to be a leader in the industry in my opinion very soon as well as our cognitive enhancing nootropic formulas as well as anything else i'm associated with you can check that out in the, in the video description too so thank you guys for watching talk to you soon